Right, we're going to install Oracle EBS R12.2.3 in about an hour. First, we download the files, we extract the files, we assemble the files, import the files, and then we go on and do the installation. This should be um, done from the Oracle eDelivery, and we install in the VM templates. We need some software before we actually start the installation. We need the Oracle VirtualBox, which is a free download from VirtualBox web, org website and you just need to select your own platform Windows Linux and and OS X which is the uh, Mac so go into www.virtualbox.org the other software we need is Sigwin if you're installing on Windows this will allow us to concatenate the files together you need to go to sigwin.com to install the Windows version of Sigwin. So you need Sigwin.com, so if you go to Sigwin.com, you need to install the files which will allow you to concatenate the files together, which bring them together. Select setup-x8664 for the 64-bit installation. And then next thing we want to do is we want to install, sorry, we want to, we want to download the files. We want to download the files from Oracle E delivery. So go to edelivery.oracle.com and then in the main page you sign in or register. After you've logged in, you then select your Oracle Linux VM page from the cloud main portal. So you want to install the virtual machine, which is Oracle Linux slash VM. So once you select that link, it brings you to the terms and restrictions. So read the Oracle license agreement and select yes and yes for the export restrictions as well so you read through the um, license agreement for the distribution of the virtual machine so once you've done that click on continue and then you want to select from the media pack search oracle vm templates and the platform you want is the x86 uh, 64 bit and you select go and that will bring back the results and the link you want is oracle vm virtual appliances for oracle e business suite 12.2.3 media pack x86 underscore 64 bit you don't need to install all the files we're doing a single node vision install so the file you need is from v43683-01 to v43690 dash zero one so 15 different uh, files for the single node vision install we're going to download the files and once the files are downloaded then we'll be able to start our uh, import and install so select v43683-01 all the way to v43690-01 and you want to click on the download button which then allows you to download the files you want to download the files to your local hard drive once the files are downloaded you then need to extract the files you can use the built-in Windows extraction utility which allows you to extract the files into your local directory or if you're using Linux you can use the unzip or unwrap functionality and also within OS X which is the Mac you can also use the extraction utility to extract the files so you can extract the files into your local directory once the files are extracted, about 15 of them, yeah, it's actually 15 files, then you can see examples of the um, file name, which is Oracle eBusiness Suite 12.2.3-vision-install.ova.002.14. I've, I've created a script that allows us to, concaten to concatenate the files, to bring the files together, and you also need to create a file called Files, which the script we look at. So let's have a look at the script, the script file. So I'm going to open in Note, Notepad, Notepad++. 
So the files allows you to concatenate files into a single OVA file and don't worry about writing this now. I will put it into the into this site for you to be able to download. And you will also need another file called files.txt. And again, I'm going to open this with Notepad, and that shows you the list of all the files that you've downloaded. Our script will call these files and then be able to use it to determine how to concatenate them together. So let's open Sigwin, and I'm going to cd into the directory of where the files have been extracted to. So let's drag that into my Sigwin window, and then I'm going to list the files so that, yep, so that's all my files there so I'm in the current directory and then I'm going to run my script which is dot slash script dot sh and that allows me to concatenate the files to bring the files together it will create a file called oracle dash ebusiness suite dot 12 dot 2 dot 3 vision dash install um, which is my dot ova file this is the file that will be imported into the oracle vm virtual box so once that's finished, we will then be able to import the file. Yep, that's done. So it's about 55.8 gig, 58.530.589 KB. So next we are going to import the file into Oracle VM VirtualBox. And uh, let's select Oracle VM VirtualBox. And then we want to go to File, Import Appliance and we're going to select the directory where we've concatenated the files into so that's Oracle eBusiness Suite Vision uh, my OVA file so uh, then I'm going to select next and uh, we'll then look at the details of my my OVF so that's my that's the details it gives me a summary of the file so we're going to select import and there's a little agreement for us to read. Um, just have a quick look at the license agreement and then continue. It would then start to import the appliance. This should take about 15 minutes. Again, this depends on the on your hard drive, your specifications, and how quick the server is. So it should take about 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. So once imported, it will list in your Oracle VirtualBox Manager. Now we're going to have a quick look at the settings. We're going to change a few things there, not much, but um, just to look at it. First of all, we're going to change the display. There is a uh, invalid settings detected, which is due to the display. So uh, display, remote display page. So we are going to change that. We're going to go to select display, remote display, and we're going to uncheck enable server, and that setting error should disappear. So that's gone. Next, uh, let's have a look at system. Yeah, and we, that, that's where we the requirements we need about 6.8 gig, or let's say about 7 gig of RAM for the specs. So yes, about 6 gig should be okay. And I'll just leave it as is. You can increase it if you want. Then we look at network. We have attached to bridge adapter, which could be a host-only adapter if you are running this on your local internet or intranet, and then click on OK. I will leave it as bridge adapter. So um, I think that's it, really. So now let's um, start the virtual box. So click on Start, and that will start the Linux server. Now we're going to carry out the installation. The installation should take about an hour. Again, this will depend on the settings, uh, well, your, your, your machine settings and how fast the machine is, your hard drive or your hardware. So let's, uh, let's start the server. It's use the local host localhost as the default um, the default machine name we're going to log in as root r o t and we're going to change the password first time you log in it will request a new password so i'm going to put in a, a simple password 
So let's type in a password. Yep, it says simple password, retype new password. And then it's going to change the password for the user Oracle as well. So type in a new password for that. I'm going to use the same password to make it easy for me. And then, yep, it's also a simple password. It will, it will ask me to retype the password. And then it will ask for uh, changing the password for Apple Manager, A-P-P-L-M-G-R. Again, I'm going to use the same password. I'll make it a simple one as well. Right, so now I'm going to create in my new instance. Which instance do I want to configure? I want to configure the demo instance, the vision demo instance, um, and not the VM. So I'm just going to type in vision as the demo instance that I want to configure. So let's, let's start that now. So vision as the instance I want to configure. So let's cd into the directory cd slash u01 slash install vision slash script. And I'm going to, um, oops, let's go scripts directory. I'm going to list the files in the directory. So that's all the files that we have in that directory. First, I'm going to run vision db config dot sh so dot slash vision db config dot sh so that allows me to install my local host local domain so it's actually using my local host local domain which is the default um, for Oracle well for, for this for this VM so my Oracle seed I'm going to use demo um, just for my demo installation my Oracle seed to use demo enter and then it will then install the database um, demo as the seed the TNS port is 1521 host name is local host domain name is local domain this can also be changed later if you want to, but um, I'll just leave it for now and install it with the default. It, it, it works as well, so and I'll show you how, how, how this works. Right, once the installation is finished, now we're going to install the apps tier, which is the apps layer. Again, in my scripts directory, I want to install. So let's list the files. So, yep. Yeah. So I want to install dot slash, um, I want vision apps config dot sh. So that allows me to install the vision applications layer. So that's the vision applications layer. So I was pinging my local host or local domain and the database tier host name is uh, sorry, localhost, that's localhost, my city is demo, and then my domain name is local domain. So let's enter local domain, enter, and then my seed is demo, enter, my pot number is 1521, enter, and this starts the uh, installation. Installation will take about 35 to 40 minutes. Get yourself some coffee, relax, come back after about 40 minutes. Sometimes the screen goes blank during the installation. It's still working in the background. Um, just leave it as is. Or even if you press, you can press enter, but then it just shows you the screen. But I'll just leave it as is for now. Uh, come back once it's finished. Right, yeah, installation's complete. We're going to now log into the environment, but we need to make a few changes to our host file. So let's first of all find the IP address of our machine, which we need to then put into our uh, host file on our machine. Well, on, our, on, our, on, on the host machine. So this is the server. So let's find the IP address of the of the server. So we need to type in ifconfig 
I have config to find the IP address of the of the uh, of this of the server. I have config, and then yep. Yeah, so our server's IP address is 192.168.1.68. This needs to be in the host file in Windows or whichever environment that you're using. So I'm going to go into Windows. I'm going to select my um, system32 drivers etc and in my host file I'm going to include localhost or local domain localhost let's just make sure that that's the same so that's it 192.168.1.64 localhost dot local domain uh, localhost so once that's there I can now log into my Internet Explorer and type in localhost.localdomain colon 8000 and that's my page Oracle EBS page open so let's log in as operations welcome I click on the login login button and then your page is displayed so that's my 12.2.3 um, login page and let me just have a look at one of the apps I'll just go into I expenses just to see what the new look and feel of 12.2.3 looks like we logged in as the as operations for I expenses which is the expense report yeah this is my new look and feel so that just gives you so let's go back to home the new look and feel so let's go back to home and that's my home page thank you very much for watching the video